What's up, YouTube world? This is your boy, Jersey Jaguar here, coming at you guys. Uh, I want to kind of apologize. I haven't really been uploading a whole lot, or at least as much as I would like to upload. Recently, I've been kind of busy. Uh, my personal life just started a new job. I am getting married next month, and just the whole whirlwind of things are going on in my life. However, what I am going to be bringing to you today is my personal top five favorite Jaguars that are on the roster as of this very moment. So let's get into it. And again, this would be a great place to where if I had an intro, this is where this is where it would go. But one day, one day I will hopefully have a nice computer instead of making videos on my phone. I will have a nice laptop to edit and make everything more aesthetically pleasing than having you guys look at my trashy bedroom. Um, so we're just going to get right into this list here. Uh, number five, and this is strictly just off the top of my head. No notes for this video. I'm just going to be just going to be talking to you guys today. Number five is James Robinson. James Robinson, who is the undrafted rookie running back out of ooh, Illinois, Eastern Illinois. Something like that. I don't remember where he's from. Some no-name school. The Jags found him. Kind of, He was kind of the diamond in the rough last year. Probably one of the two best players on the team last year in the midst of the horrible season that it was. Um, just an inspirational story. The dude is just a great player. Um, I think he's going to be a Jaguar for a long time. I think he's going to be a great piece for Trevor Lawrence. He's going to be a wonderful complimentary piece to Travis Etienne. And uh, if not the main running back himself, instead of just a complimentary, uh, complimentary piece, um, yeah, James Robinson is my guy. I got him at number five. Number four, I have my boy Josh Allen. Josh Allen is a beast. Josh Allen has the potential to be a Von Miller for us. Josh Allen, I believe specifically with this scheme change that we have now, now that Todd Wash is out of the building, Jerry's going to be switching to a 3-4. I think that will much more utilize Josh Allen's ability, not only um, as at a, a linebacker, but I think he, uh, I really think you're going to see more of his pass rush ability that we saw in his rookie year. Um, kind of fell off a little bit last year because of injury mostly. And, you know, he he didn't have Calais Campbell to help him out anymore, but I still have tons of faith in the guy. And not only just because of his ability, why he's ranked so high for me, but the dude legitimately loves the team. If you go on his uh, social media, his Instagram, his Twitter, or anything, he's either talking about us, talking about the Jags, or he's out at the park or out to a restaurant or whatever um, with his little kids and his wife. Like, we will never have to worry about him getting in trouble. We'll never have to worry about him getting suspended. He has openly talked about how much he loves Urban Meyer, how much he just loves the Jaguars, how much, like, he genuinely wants to be here, which is, we haven't had that much. And that's awesome to see a first-round pick who has potential to be an all-elite player, um, and who wants to be here. So Josh Allen's my number four. Number three, I have LaVisca Chenault Jr., wide receiver from Colorado. I wanted Visca so bad coming out in uh, two drafts ago. I would have been okay if we picked him at 20, to be honest. If you guys remember, we had the 20th pick um, from the Jalen Ramsey trade. We ended up picking Caleb on Chase on, um, but I would have been okay with LaVisca Chenault in that spot. I know some of you may not totally be on board with that, um, but Visca is my guy. I, ever since I first started watching him, I thought he would be something special. And week one, he started showing out. The only thing that concerns me with him, he's got to, uh, so how to get that hammy right. His hamstring was giving him problems in and out of his rookie season last year. He's got to get that right. He's got to get that squared away, taken care of. Hopefully, uh, 
the kind of culture change well not really that culture doesn't really have anything to do with it but the um drawing a blank strength and conditioning changes that urban meyer is going to make hopefully that will limit some of those injuries that he suffered last year but if he stays healthy man my god he's gonna have such a great um rapport with trevor lawrence he's gonna have a wonderful connection with him um if you go back and watch Visca, like count how many times he actually got tackled last year like that one image that i always see going around twitter where there's like six vikings on him and he's still like holding the ball and he's still going like the dude's just a beast like he's not he's not so much a burner but well he has speed he's not a burner he has speed but he's that like He's almost like, you guys remember Brandon Jacobs, the running back for the Giants? Like, the big dude just, like, run people over? Like, that's kind of what Visca is. Like, he just, like, the dude just does not go down. Like, if it's a if it's a third and five and he catches it after three yards, like, he's going to get the extra two. Just because, like, he's so hard to bring down. Um, I just love the guy. Part, part, uh, part of it is because of my own ego. Because I kind of had a hunch that he would be really good and I think I saw enough out of his rookie year to make me be convinced that I was right um but I just think the guy's awesome and plus Trevor Lawrence thinks he's awesome too I saw on Instagram today kind of a side note that they like I don't remember specifically what they said but like they both made an Instagram post about the other and then they like tag the other in the post or whatever i don't i i'm i sound stupid trying to explain it just go on their instagram and look at it you'll see what i'm talking about um number two number two the man who should have should have been written down in the history books as the guy who changed the jaguars history forever and that man is Mr. Miles Jack. Miles Jack wasn't down. We all know the thing. We all know the big... Am I going to get too much into it because it just makes me angry and it's, it's too late at night for that. I'm recording this at like 11 o'clock at night. It's too late for that. I can't, I can't get into that because I'll get mad. But we all know Miles Jack wasn't down. They called him down. And instead of making one of the most amazing plays in playoff history and sending the Jaguars to their first ever Super Bowl as a franchise, that did not happen. However, what did happen is Miles Jack had the best year of his career last year. If you want to say that James Robinson wasn't the best player last year, then the only other option was Miles Jack. Miles Jack was an all pro linebacker last year miles jack was a beast last year he was i don't have the numbers in front of me normally i look this stuff up so i can kind of read off of it i'm just talking off the top of my head but if you guys watch the jags last year if you put yourself through that torture miles jack was one of a minimum top three linebacker in the nfl last year he was fantastic and i think he's going to be that way for a long time in fact, I think this scheme could probably even benefit him as well. Maybe he might even play better. Who knows? But Miles Jack is, uh, that's my guy. And then number one. Hasn't played a snap yet. But how could it not be? How could it not be? Trevor Lawrence right now is my favorite Jacksonville Jaguar. Hasn't played a snap yet, hasn't done anything, but you know what? He has massive potential to be the best player in franchise history. When we look back 20 years from now, like we could, instead of, now don't get me wrong, I love Tony Baselli. It is, it's a crime that he's not in the Hall of Fame. Fred Taylor amazing i had you guys have seen me wear his mitchell and s 150 dollar jersey freddie t's awesome jimmy smith awesome all these guys that are right now mark brunell considered the best players in our franchise history this dude right here 
has the potential to surpass them all. Has legitimate potential to surpass them all. And by that alone, just the, hey, it, it says it on the shirt. It says it on the shirt. Hope. And that's what we have. And that's something that we haven't had in a long time. And what this guy gives us is not just the chance to have a 2017 season. It's where, yay, yeah, you know, every once, every 10, 11 years, we go to the playoffs and then ultimately we're out of it. No, with a guy like this, like, if the Jaguars are ever going to win a Super Bowl, it's good. It's because of Trevor Lawrence. It's because of Trevor Lawrence. And, you know, if we had if we had won the Super Bowl in 2011, or 2011, oh my god, in 2017, uh, Blake Bortles would probably be my favorite Jaguar of all time, just because he'd be the quarterback that won the first Super Bowl. Trevor Lawrence will be the first quarterback to win us a Super Bowl, possibly multiple Super Bowls. Therefore, at my top five list, this all-important, all-like elite list by your boy Jersey Jaguar, how could I not put Trevor Lawrence at one? The man doesn't have a stat yet in the NFL, and if he asked me today who my favorite Jacksonville Jaguar is, it's your boy Trevor Lawrence. Because of a four-letter word, and that is hope. If you guys watch this video to the end, man, I shot my mouth off for almost 12 minutes. Yikes. Um, if you made it to this far to the end, you're awesome. Let me know. If you made it this far, put Duval down in the comments. Put um, uh, Screw Julio Jones. It don't matter. Like, tighten up don't mean nothing. Titans still suck. Texans are garbage. Colts are garbage. Put something down there in the comments if you've made it this far. Give a big old Duval. If you are not subscribed to this channel and you have watched this whole video, you are especially awesome. And you can become even more awesome by hitting that subscribe button and joining this wonderful community of Jaguar talk that I have created. I hope you have a wonderful day.